Well guys, it has finally happened. We have officially gotten a trailer for the Minecraft movie and an official release date after almost a decade of suspense, uh, speculation, rumors. After so many years, we have finally have an official look and it's definitely a movie. Today we're going to be talking about everything we know about the Minecraft movie. Does it look good? Does it look bad? Will I even see it? Will I even be alive to see it? Who even knows at this point? Let's get into it. So the official trailer for the Minecraft movie was released today, September 4th, at about 9am. This is big news and we've been looking forward to a announcement or a trailer or a first look at the movie for almost 10 years. If you don't know, the Minecraft movie was started to be developed or in talks with Notch all the way back in 2014. So basically as soon as Minecraft started to launch off, Warner Brothers was interested in making a movie with Notch about Minecraft. These talks would last until around 2018 and the director was Sean Levy, who if you don't know directed uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, as well as some episodes on Stranger Things, Free Guy, a bunch of stuff that Ryan Reynolds is in, so by now he's a pretty well known director. Whether he's a good director or not is really up to you, but his style is unique and it might have been a good movie and with a more interesting tone or more comedic approach that we may see now. And by comedic, I mean not just like the for kids humor, but more like the more abstract and stuff we see in Deadpool and Wolverine, just not rated R, because obviously we're not getting a rated R Minecraft movie. However, sadly, he did leave the project shortly after. However, Rob McElney, who is best known for directing, writing, and producing episodes of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, as well as being an actor in It's Always Sunny, as well as directing and writing Mythic Quest. The film's release date was now 2019, and we had a very interesting actor on the set, who was just said to be Steve Carell. This is a very interesting take, and to be honest, what we got isn't too far away from Steve Carell. However, due to scheduling con conflicts, nothing really left it off. So, we it got another rewrite, it's third already, by Aaron and Adam Nee. They don't really have any two notable credits, but apparently they are writing a Masters of the Universe movie, and directing a future untitled Lego movie film. And it got another change in its writer and director, this time by the one and only Peter Solit. If you don't know who that is, you are not alone, as he once again has basically directed or writ nothing too notable. Yet, due to the pandemic in 2020, changes up needed to be happened again. And this time, it would finally be a one and done thing. This time, we would see Jared Hess become the new director, and Jason Momoa, of all people, were in talks to star in the movie. Jared Hess is actually pretty well known, and he was the director and writers on both Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre, which is pretty interesting. So, with the director of Nacho Libre being on set, it is no surprise that Jack Black would later come onto the film to play Steve himself. So that finally brings us to today, after almost a decade of changes in directors, writers, filming slots, release dates, we finally have an official trailer for the Minecraft movie, and it's definitely interesting. The film was being produced by Warner Brothers and most notably Legendary. If you don't know Legendary, they're basically a film company, however they are very notable for their film Detective Pikachu. If you're like me and you watch this trailer, you know that the mobs look a lot like the realistic Pokemon that we saw in Detective Pikachu, which is no surprise as Legendary has produced both of these movies. I mean, in my opinion, I could definitely see how they could reuse assets from Detective Pikachu as they are like eerily similar to each other and I don't get how they're not similar, but maybe you guys don't see it. That brings me to my personal gripe about the trailer. Um, the mobs just are not fun to look at. Like, um, if you don't know about a month and a half ago, some of these looks did get leaked with the sheep, the bee, and Steve. And they looked okay, especially Steve as it's just Jack Black in a blue shirt, which is kind of all you can really do for Jack Black as Minecraft. But the sheep just doesn't look good. It has spit coming out of its mouth. Its eyes look like it spent some nights with Snoop Dogg. It just doesn't look good. I don't want to look at it. I I know that some mobs look better. The piglins do have a more like piggy look, which which is good for them, you know. 
And the gas does look pretty good, actually, even though I don't want to hear it in live action. The gas does look like the gas, and it is decently well translated. Those do oh. look like a little too much, like if Minecraft was real, um, which isn't my favorite genre or of Minecraft stuff. Um, I mean, maybe the tools will be better. It doesn't look like it, but I mean, the stick, the Minecraft stick, that is perfection. Look at that thing. I can't wait for this movie. For just the sheep, it's just not look good to look at. The llama is the same thing. It just, it, it's hard to look at. It's far too realistic for me, but that's my own personal gripe and maybe you think something different. One thing I will praise the movie for is its cinematography as even though the backgrounds are mostly CGI, as we have real people in a Minecraft world, so it kind of has to be. The backgrounds actually do look really, really good. Even though it's basically just art, it does look pretty beautiful and does look like a Minecraft world. So I have to admit that, that the movie does look pretty good. Does it look like Minecraft specifically? I don't really know. It's kind of hard to tell with the actual real people being there, but it does look pretty blocky from a distance and I think they did a good job of translating it from far away. Um, what I think is pretty cool actually is they seem to be developing ideas from not only Minecraft but also Minecraft Dungeons and Minecraft Legends. If you don't know, uh, Payless writing Gas were actually a part of concept art for Minecraft Legends that didn't actually make it into the game. However, in the movie, Piglins are riding in gas in little carriers, which I think is actually pretty cool. Minecraft is a pretty expansive IP when you think about it with Dungeons, Legends, Minecraft Story Mode even. So to take on those games is actually pretty interesting and is something nice to see. Now what you've all been waiting for, the plot synopsis of the Minecraft movie. Four humans get transported into the Minecraft world where they meet Steve. With the help of Steve, they must defeat the bad guy. Yeah, it's pretty thrilling stuff. Basically, it's just your average kids movie, which does make sense as Minecraft is mainly enjoyed by kids. So while I could be mad at my grown age, I will choose not to be because this is a movie for kids. And unfortunately, I will be seeing it. My favorite parts about the trailer, uh, Jason Momoa does look pretty just there. Like he's just there to do funny poses or whatever. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Jack Black also does look like Steve. Um, you're going to get a Jack Black performance, whether that's for good or bad. Uh, maybe he'll be funny. Maybe he'll sing a song. If he sings a song, I won't have any gripes for the movie. So according to the leaks, there are going to be some cameos, um, which is interesting. Maybe they'll pull a Minecraft story mode and have them be incorporated into the world, or they'll just be set in the real world. As we do know, there will be a part of the movie in the real world where Jennifer Coolidge will play the role of a high school principal. And that just makes me so, so excited for the movie. Also, apparently, there is a Technoblade uh, tribute, which would be pretty cool to see. And that would be generational, but I don't know if it's even going to happen. Personally, I wouldn't be seeing the movie, like I said. Will I enjoy it? Probably not. I will probably hate it. However, it's made for kids. And at the end of the day, you can really only expect that. So, please don't expect um, uh, the Batman by Reeves. Don't expect anything really good. I just expect it to be a kids movie with some... Bad jokes and Hero Brian, maybe. That'd be epic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. In my opinion.